This is one of the Artisanship Commission's prototypes. The Shifting Screen. <laughs> Good thing I got the students to take it out and make a few adjustments. Otherwise, they'd never have managed to get out in time. You all saw the Jade Gate on your way in, I assume. The Shifting Screen works in the same way. It connects two spatial coordinates in ways that laymen <laughs> wouldn't understand. Indeed, with limited range and energy costs aside, to every star skiff soon shall woe be tied. You sure about that? Even our trailblazing space anchors sound better. Thank goodness you take the time to perfect these inventions, Master. If not, the Skyfaring Commission would have become quite redundant by now. Ordinarily, I could have used this beauty to teleport you thither. But through earth and air, the wretched branches boiled. The shifting screen entangled vents and coiled. Have some faith in me. The Commission is more than a match for Mother Nature. Ah! Oh, piteous tree, who think thyself so strong, your match and more in strength to meet ere long. This is the first thing that came to mind when the tree demon attacked. It's a mechanical device codenamed the Illumination Chest. I invented this weapon for the Cloud Knights. It's incredibly powerful, but... Uh... Let me guess. Limited range? Energy costs? <laughs> Every light has its shadow. But this is more than enough to deal with the Tree Demon. And then... Ignite! Fire beats wood! There's no way we can lose! The master reveals the door, but the apprentice must walk through it. You're much better than my useless students. What's happening? Is the del... Seems like it worked. That tree demon must be writhing in pain. All right. There's no time to lose. Hurry through the shifting screen to the opposite side before the branches grow back. Oh, look, the ambrosial arbor's roots. Oh, they've uncoiled the Artisanship Commission's most precious invention, the Creation Furnace. Help me, dear young friends! Let's hack them away together! We can't let the roots punch through the furnace! Careful, it's changing. Move. Okay. 
carefully. Time for a fun. <laughs> Let me tend your wounds. <laughs> this ends here. It's guarding the Ambrosial Arbor's roots and the furnace. Meaningless. The truth of life and death reveals the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! <laughs> Time to squash in your prescription! <laughs> More enemies. Time for a fun. <laughs> This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Is that all? I have no interest in conflict. Life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Can I have fun this time? <laughs> no matter how much damage we do, it just heals itself. Not fair! We'll have to retreat for now. Follow me. <sighs> no wonder the Siencho is so scared of the abominations of abundance. They're unstoppable. <sighs> Miss Ting Yun, are the long life species on the Siencho all like this? I'm afraid this ebon deer was likely birthed by the Ambrosial Arbor as its guardian. It shares a close connection with the Arbor's roots. Most living creatures on the Sienjo don't have abilities like this. Huh. As long as it's there, we can't get any closer. I wonder... The Ebon Deer seems to heal itself instantly, but perhaps it's drawing that power from elsewhere. Are you listening to Mr. Yang? The monster only seems to be active in the vicinity of the arbor. Let's look around and see if we can find anything. So the General asked you to head to the Alchemy Commission, hmm? Uh, the Artisan Ship Commission had no choice but to halt operations once the Tree Demon appeared. <laughs> 